Okay, in this video what we're going to be doing is looking at standard form but changing standard form numbers into ordinary numbers. I'm going to put a link to a previous video that we've done here, okay, and that will be how to write from ordinary numbers into standard form. So if you haven't watched that already, go and watch that first and then you can watch this one. Right, so what we need to do is we need to change the following A, B, C, D, E and F from standard form into ordinary numbers. So what I'm going to do is show you how we do this. Now remember, uh, you need to remember standard form is between 1 okay, and less than 10. Okay, and it's always times 10 to the something. Right, so if we start off with 4 times 10 to the 5. Now from the previous video, you'll remember how we used this table here, so we're going to use this again. What I need to do is I need to find where 10 to the 5 is, okay, which is right here. I then need to write the number that I'm being told, so this happens to be 4. And then because I've put the 4 under the 10 to the 5, I've matched the position. I then need to fill in the remaining columns with zeros. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, and if I look at that number from the decimal point, that's where I stop obviously, this number is 400,000. And that's a standard form number changed into an ordinary number. So if I rub this out now, and give B a try. So here I've got 3.5 times 10 to the 2. So I find 10 to the 2, which is here okay I then write 3 I do not put a decimal I write a 5 there and I continue filling this in with zeros because there are no numbers left with zeros until I hit the decimal point so 3.5 times 10 to the 2 as an ordinary number is 350 okay let me do the same for C so 6.78 times 10 to the 3. So I find times 10 to the 3. I then write 6, 7, 8, and write a 0 there. So 6.78 times 10 to the 3, that's an ordinary number, 6,780. Okay, so now we're getting on to a, a small number. So let's have a look at what we do here. So we're on 6.2 times 10 to the minus 2. So we need to find six uh, times ten to the minus two, which happens to be here. Okay, we then write six and two. Okay, now instead of adding zeros this direction, we add them in this direction up until the decimal point. So if we do that, okay, we have zero here. So as a number, we have zero point. 0, 6, 2. Okay, now of course you can add zeros here, um, but it's not necessary. Okay, because that will uh, continue on forever. What's important is that you establish where the decimal point is and then fill in zeros up until that point. Right, let's try another small number. Let's just get rid of this. Right, now we've got 8.93 times 10 to the minus 1. So I find times 10 to the minus 1. 8, 9, 3. Here's my decimal point. So 8.93 times 10 to the minus 1 as an ordinary number is 0 0.893. Okay, and for one last one, for a smaller number, we have 4.04 times 10 to the minus 3. So I find my times 10 to the minus 3, write 4, 0, 4. Okay, I do not write point. So here's what I do not do. I do not fill this 10 to the minus 4 with a dot and the O and then the next one with a 4. Okay, I forget about the decimal and just write 4, 0, 4. I then go towards the left until the decimal point. So it's 0 here and a zero here. If I then write what that actually is, that zero point, okay, the point is here, zero, zero, four, zero, four, zero, zero, four, zero, four. 
okay and now all of these um, Saniform numbers have been changed into ordinary numbers okay now you should be able to see a reason why Saniform might want to be used I'm sure you will agree that seeing this 4.04 times 10 to the minus 3 is a lot easier to um, understand than seeing this number okay now there's two reasons for that one it's slightly easier to see and two you're far less likely to make mistakes with the standard form number than you are with uh, the ordinary number you could quite easily for example write 0 0.0404 and by missing that zero here you've drastically changed the number so I hope you found that video useful if you did drop a like I would recommend subscribing to this channel because there's going to be a lot more videos like this being uploaded so you want to um, be notified when I do that if you've got any comments or suggestions or requests for types of videos that you might like to see don't forget to uh, drop a comment down below